Welcome to our 12th lesson, our final lesson for our tag album series that we've done using our Time to Flourish. With this lesson, we're going to be using our December papers to create this beautiful photo frame that pulls out when you can do some journaling and other fun stuff. All right, so let's get started on creating this. First, we're going to go over what we need. So to create this, we're going to need one ivory ATC tag. We're going to need one large ivory tag. Our December cut apart page from our Time to Flourish collection. And the December flourish page from the Time to Flourish collection. Now let's get started. The first things that we're going to want to do is cut out some of our steps. So we're going to want to cut out from this reverse side. We're going to cut out a large rectangle and this is going to be three and seven eighths by six and three fourths inches. And you can cut it anywhere from there. And then from our cut apart page, you can see we're going to cut out our holiday wishes four by four square. We're going to cut out part of our border, including the red poinsettia and the green at three and seven eighths inches, a rectangle. This is going to be cut to two and one fourths inches by three and seven eighths. And this we want the pattern side. And also a pattern side, we want a square that's cut to three by three inches. And then we're going to take this December and we're going to cut this to three and a half by two inches, making sure to get the full December in there. Now we've got those pieces cut, we're going to take two green pieces from our Coordinations cardstock series and we're going to cut these to three and three fourths by three and three fourths square. And then of course you're going to want to take a, an adorable photo of you and your family Christmas time and you're going to cut that down to three by three inches. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is take our large ivory tag and we're going to glue down our sentiment base. And we're going to glue this all the way flush to the bottom of our tag. All right. And you can see we're going to want to go ahead and round our corners on the bottom. So just using my scissors, I'm going to follow the ivory as a guide and round my corners. Perfect. Now that I've got that, adhered, I'm going to take my border piece that we cut to three and seven eighths inches and I'm going to just adhere that right on top like so. And next I'm going to take our rectangle that we cut to two and a fourth by three and seven eighths inches and I'm going to use a half inch circle punch and I'm going to notch out some corners. Just putting it about a third of the way in. It's going to give us that nice little ticket effect. And then I'll do the same with my December that I cut out. Just sticking it about a third of the way in. I always like to use my paper punches from the bottom side so I can see what I'm cutting. Perfect. And now we'll just go ahead and mat that on to our rectangle. And you can see just those added little details just really make your project all the better. Perfect. Now that we've got that done, I'm going to add you see here, I'm going to add some of this Mayards trim and I'm going to make it just give it that extra little flare. So what I've done here is I've taken a 12 inch piece of this red and green ribbon and I've made just little notches and I'll show you how I've done that with one of those. So I just like to pinch that right down the center and then taking my scissors, I'm going to create a V. And now I've got my little points. I'm going to flip this over and just start adhering these 
onto the back. And I want them to be all at different lengths, just to give it more of an interesting look. While I have that flipped over, I'm going to add some more adhesive on the back of this, and I'm going to glue this down to my tag. And I want some of my ribbons on my tag to be going over the edge. So, I'm just eyeball this. And I've got it about an eighth of an inch. My green piece is about an eighth of an inch from the bottom. And then I have these extra little pieces that overhang. All right, so our next step is to assemble our frame. And how we're gonna do that is by taking some scissors and I'm going to cut from one corner to the other corner at a 45 degree angle. And I'm gonna do that around all four corners. So, there's one, two, This is gonna give us those mitered edges, so it'll look like a nice little photo frame. Now that I've cut that out, I can take my scissors and cut around on the inside, or I can take a paper trimmer and do the same. So whatever you prefer is best. I'm just gonna use my scissors for this. And this is where some scotch tape is gonna come in handy for us. So making sure that my flourishes match up on my frame. And now we've got our frame all put together. I'm just gonna go through and cut off my excess tape. All right, so now that we have our frame created, our next step is what we're going to do is put foam adhesive just around the two sides and the bottom. And that's gonna create our pop-up effect so we can insert our photos. So I'm gonna use some foam adhesives to do this. All right, so that's all ready to go. But before I add this dimensional piece, I'm gonna glue my photo mats on the back so it's a little bit easier for me. So we're gonna take those green photo mats we cut out earlier to three and three-fourths inches squared, and we're gonna glue those on the back. These are great size for all those Christmas photos. There we go. Now turning that back around, we're going to put our frame onto this, and it's just about an eighth of an inch away from that green December. Two, perfect. So now we've created our frame. Now our, all we have left to do is create our little photo drop-in. So we've got that three by three inch square. I'm gonna glue this onto the back side of my ivory tag. Just going, centering that and going up to the grommet. Flip that over. And then I'm gonna take that three by three inch photo that I cut out earlier. And I'm going to adhere that on here. So now with that green on the back, not only do I have a place to journal or add more photos, but it also acts as a stabilizer. So if I'm pulling this in and out of that pocket, my photo's not going to get damaged. So we've got that created. And the last thing we're gonna do is just take about a six inch piece of that green May Arts ribbon. We're just gonna tie it through the top of our tag, creating a little pulley. There we go. And then we're gonna do our little V notches that are matches the bottom. And it's really nice how the trim on the bottom is gonna really pull this all together now that we have the trim on the top. I'm gonna slip this right inside of our frame that we've created. And this completes our 12 month tag album mini using Time to Flourish. Now you'll have a card for each 
month of the year that you can use as a mini or you can use as a tag to give away as the year goes on.